Hello, back in the woods. <laughs> I've not been to this location in a little while now and it is so overgrown. It's just so dark in here, but lovely. There is a few openings, but um, it's been very showery this last week, very rainy. A little bit of a gap in the weather here, but there still could be some showers, um, a lot of wind about. So I think I'm just gonna put up a lean-to here and um, have a little fire just on the edge of it. Uh, just in case. But uh, yeah, going to do some noodles, some ramen today. I'm going to be cooking in a rock with a stone dulcet bowl. Um, never done it before, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to get set up. Well, that's the shelter set up, so I'm pretty guaranteed it's not going to rain now. <laughs> At least it's up. Right. Firewood and some rocks for the fireplace. I had some birch bark stashed away up here, so I'm going to use that with my ferro rod. And I've broken down some smaller bits of this dry wood as well. The twigs are just so wet. Probably put a bit of a brace on here, really. There we go. It 
is soaking out here. This bit of chestnut here is quite flat. So what I'm going to try and do is try to make some chopsticks. See how it splits. First one didn't do well. No, second one didn't either. Right, go from the middle and go from there. Well these are they, they still need a little bit of chamfering off but I can work on them as and when but uh, they should work. I'm not the best with chopsticks. <laughs> I've got a few things here to prep. First I'm just using some green leaves because I couldn't get any bok choy. I'm just going to roll this up. And slice it. some spring onions, green onions, salad onions, whatever you call them where you are. Again, we'll just move them aside. Got a couple of different sorts of mushrooms here, a chanterelle and some other bits and bobs. Just going to slice these. Some ginger here, I've just scraped off a bit of that skin. And I only need a couple of slices of that. And the same with some garlic. Gonna do some slices of that. Put that over here with the ginger. And a chili. make it too. And now with gloved hands put this rock on the coals and try and keep the fire going over here a bit. The reason for this is to cook some steak. We're only really cooking the outside for now. And a bit of seasoning. Quite big for chopsticks. Oh yeah. 
I'm just going to remove this beef. I just want to put these mushrooms on for a minute so they're not raw. I've filled up my bowl here. I'm going to attempt to slightly soft boil an egg. Just in case it's not clear, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a bit of an experiment. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures of these ramen bowls. And I know this is a dull sot, which is Korean cooking. I'm going to do some other stuff in that as well. But I just thought it'd work well for this. So my beef's done, and that's ready to slice up to go in. Um, all my veggies are ready, which go in the hot stock. I'm going to boil this egg, take that water out, and I've got some stock that I made last night actually with uh, some leftover chicken bones. And that's going to go in, and then that's going to be the foundation. So, should be good. I've got some noodles over here as well, they're fresh ones. <laughs> I think it'll be tasty. That should be about enough time, so I'm just going to spoon out this egg. Stick that aside. I'm going to spoon out this water as well. And this is the chicken stock. Nothing like homemade stock. That should do. And a splash of soy. of slices of ginger and my garlic and just while that stock heats I'm just gonna slice through this steak nice and pink in the middle which is how I wanted it because it's going into the hot water Oh, and the end bit for the chef. Some noodles here. So just going to add in our greens to one side. here our mushrooms over here our spring onions our steak Chili. And our egg. It's looking pretty magnificent actually. Well now it's time to be humiliated by my skills with 
chopsticks. Try a bit of that beef first. See that's still bubbling away where the bowl is hot. Wow, that chilli is already infused into this. A bit of that egg. Mmm. <clears throat> I suppose I better not forget them noodles. Ooh, they're hot. Wow, this is packed with flavour, it really is. I suppose just get a bit of a good mix. Get that all together. Some of them mushrooms there. Lovely. Oop. I mean, I totally used the chopsticks the whole way through. Well, that was beautiful and a top-notch meal it was really filling I mean the reason I originally wanted to do it is just because of how beautiful them bowls look when they're done and prepared mine was a little deep with a little too much liquid not enough noodles for for it all to settle on the top in that lovely way but it was nice <laughs> I'm glad I've done it I plan on doing this if you saw my Tranja cooking recipes video before I plan on doing a Tranja version as well on one of them. I'm currently working on the next one at the moment, so I'm not sure if it's going to be in that or the one after that. But I do continue, plan on continuing doing a few of them. So hopefully you enjoy them and get some ideas for some camping food on a camp stove. But yeah, whew, I'm pretty full. Now I'm going to leave this tarp up because I've got a few odd jobs to do. Uh, repairing tracks and things like that up here in the woods. But for this video, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Goodbye.